What is up, YouTube? Welcome to the Legion of Comics. I'm Mark, and I'm back with another big mail haul. Got all kinds of cool stuff before we bust them open and look at them. Check this out. If you haven't already, be sure to consider liking and subscribing to the channel. I've just passed the 700 subscriber mark. I'm getting together all the items that I'm going to include in my next giveaway. So if you'd like to participate in that and have a chance of winning some awesome prizes, be sure to be a subscriber to the channel because the winners are limited to the subscribers. It's my way of saying thank you to everyone who supported the channel and uh, comes out and hangs out every Sunday night and the periodic live streams I do throughout the week. And uh, yeah, so let's get right into it. Uh, earlier today, the mailman showed up. I got three packages. I did go ahead and cut the tape on one because it's not a uh, standard box like a Gemini mailer. It's oversized. And I wasn't sure how to get into it. So I haven't looked in it yet. I don't know what it is, but this is an AOK -okay from a good friend in the community, uh, Mike, a.k.a. Tolt Fiction. And then I got a book that I purchased off Tyler from Wack Comics. And then, boom, big time collectibles exclusive. I love this shop, guys. I can't sing their praises enough. Uh, they're just fantastic. They work with some really, really amazing artists, including uh, easily one of my favorite, if not absolutely my favorite, modern artists. So uh, let's see how we're gonna, we're gonna save this one for last. So let's go ahead and bust into the one that Tyler sent me. I do know what this one is. I'm really excited about it. Uh, this will be my first one of this. Uh, of this like little micro set, I guess. Uh, you know, for it is an exclusive. It is an exclusive variant. Oh, there's an extra little thingy in here. God, that looks awesome. My man, my man with the pull tabs. I love it. So this thing is pull tabs out. All right. So we got the book out, and there is a note attached to the top of it, or something. And it looks like just some uh, black comics origami in play here. So let's take a look real quick. Let's get the tape off of here. Oh my God, the pictures of this do it no justice at all. Ugh. All right, so let's see what the origami says. Oh, that's awesome. Dude, thank you so much, Tyler. What we have are the, uh, the WAC comic stickers. So we have... The Fantastic Four sticker, which is Ben Grimm and the Invisible Tyler. And then we have the Invincible one. And I don't remember the alien characters here, but obviously Tyler's dressed as Invincible in it. And then uh, we have easily the best one that they've got so far. And this is the one exclusively designed by Austin LeMay himself. An amazing artist, amazing member of the YouTube comic community. Great guy. Hulk. All right. On to the book. Again, thank you, Tyler. That was that was really awesome, man. So what we have is deceased issue number one, the cover B, which is the minimal trade dress. Now, I do have deceased issue one. The cover A was the trade dress standard, and the cover C was the virgin trade dress, which is one of the sickest covers I've ever seen in my life. Just that mylar is just ripping up the reflections. But the cover B, the minimal trade dress, they did a little different for all four issues that John Jang did for Deceased. And the cover B was the sketch covers. And just look at that. So that's like the original, like the original design. And then you can see the subtle differences where they've taken his hands out and everything. Kind of got a little bit closer to the image. You see the scratches on his face. Now you know where they come from. But man, that is insane. That is that is absolutely awesome. That is so wicked. Man, I love it. Thank you so much. And he's got it in my lore and a yeah, both of these are in mylar with the clear backer boards on them. That gotta get me some of those clear backer boards. Yeah, give it a little tappy tappy. It's like a, it. 
If y'all couldn't tell, Finn is here. He's over here playing with. What do you got there, Finn? Hulk. Hulk. There it is. And this is the uh, Hulk exclusive that came in the two pack, probably about 15 years ago, with the leader. There you go. So we got those. Now let's get into this one that my good friend Mike, aka Talk Fiction, aka Eminem Comics on Facebook, has sent. Okay, yeah, I didn't cut it all the way. It looks like I thought I'd have this one prepped for the video, but not quite. Okay, there we go. Yeah, those stickers are awesome. A lot of money in stickers made because I see y'all stickers everywhere and you have so many different ones. Holy crap, what is this? <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Oh my, oh my god. All right, so it looks like we have some magazines. Oh, man, I remember that old Sean Connery movie, Outland. So this is Starlog number 47 from June. I don't know what year, but I can kind of get around the right year because it's got Superman 2 on the cover, and I'm assuming that they're talking about sci-fi and comic book films in here and just – Oh my goodness. Yes. So there we go. Oh, this is fantastic. Some awesome, awesome Superman stuff to go into the collection. Dude, that is amazing. I've been picking up some wizards, some old wizard magazines off Mike, the Death of Superman special, and then the one that came shortly after it that was the uh the back cover had Superman's grave on it and stuff. All right, and next one. There's two in here and a postcard. Amazing World of Superman postcard. A supercard. This shows Superman holding up a globe representing his home world, Krypton. The design is the official emblem of the Amazing World of Superman in Metropolis, Illinois. That is super cool. So it's a postcard from Metropolis. So this is Fantastic Films from August 1981, the special anniversary edition featuring Superman 2. Look at that. My God. Again, Outland was just going on at the same time. Raiders of the Lost Ark, Clash of the Titans with Ray Harryhausen. So obviously, I think Clash of the Titans is a little bit older. They might have just been talking about special effects in that. Superman flies again. Look at that. Jeez, that's awesome. And there's the movie poster for the movie. Hey, that was that's awesome, Mike. Just look at Chris Reeves. He is the man. That is Superman right there. Never will be a better Superman than him. Henry Cavill does an amazing job. I love him as Superman. That's Superman, though. All right. Fantastic films from June 1979. So we're backtracking here to the Superman, the movie. And this has got the interview with Richard Donner. Look at, look at that. Look at that. Now he's got Ghost Rider from Marvel Legends. That is fantastic. Let's see what other stuff was going on. Never before seen photos in the Death Star Trench. Sean, Gene Rogers interviewed with rare photos. Let's see if we can see this. Oh, my gosh. Oh Look at that. Super. Jeez, that's awesome. On the set with Krypton and everything. In a scene omitted from the movie, an ominous person, uh, person ages depicted by the Council of Jor-El's Chambers. So it looks like there's a deleted scene pictures in here. He clearly has got the little rings going around him like he's uh, in custody and on trial. 
So I'm definitely going to read those. Uh, the bag says Sig Neil Adams. I wonder if that, I'm, and I don't know what book is where. I wonder if Neil Adams signed something on one of these somewhere. You know, back in the day, especially when these movies were coming out, I don't know how much Neil Adams was doing big name. Oh my God, look at that. But um, artists used to sign all over the insides of books more than on the outsides. They didn't want people, including the uh, writers and artists who worked on these comics, did not want to mess up the artwork on the outside. So they would sign on the inside cover. And this is fantastic. So those are definitely going right into the Superman collection. Thank you so much, Mike. And again, if you guys haven't already started following him, I mean, I've mentioned him numerous times on my channel here recently. I've been getting a lot of good stuff off of him and his buddy who do m, &M Comics on Facebook, just like the candy, m, m And Mike also has an Instagram and a uh, YouTube channel all under the name Tulp, T-U-L-P Fiction. So check him out. Lastly, it's big time collectibles time. I've got some more stuff that I'm got on pre-order with these guys. Uh, got some stuff on pre-order in Canada. Uh, after the Sunday night show, so many people reached out to me about the Bad Idea comics, and I was able to procure all the books that have released so far and pre-order the next few. So I'm going to end up having doubles of some because some of them had to buy in, in groups and stuff, but... Uh, I've got all kinds of stuff on the way. Oh, that is gorgeous. Uh, it is, isn't it, buddy? It's a, it's a book in my life. These comic shields are amazing, guys. Like, no tape necessary. They just got Can I hold it? Tape down the side. Hold on. And then inside, these flaps just go up. The book sits in there, and it holds them perfectly. Clam shell it. Tape it. Send it on off. Can I hold it? You can hold it. Over there. So they got these guys in Mylar. Man, and I'm going to take it out because if I've learned anything from Three Key Louie, these glares, man, draws the way to go. So this is Big Time Collectibles exclusive Sandman Universe Lock and Key crossover event from IDW and DC Comics, issue number one, and it is. The John Jang variant, just gorgeous, gorgeous art as always. So this one I did mention on my new comic book day video for the week it was coming out. And it got here really fast. Big time collectibles is on top of their shipping game. So I, I'm kind of I'm definitely kind of interested to read this. I know that there's the Netflix show for Lock and Key. I haven't uh, watched it yet, but I, I'm very interested in uh, what's this all about. Oh, wow. Super gory. Good God. Super duper gory. Seeing dragons, griffins, monsters, people being exploded, people being impaled. This is crazy. Lock and key number two. A lot of ads in the back too for upcoming stuff. So this this is called the Sandman and Lock and Key. Uh, the key to hell or something. It's got it's got a subtitle to it. Hell and Gone, that's it. Hell and Gone is the name of it. Hell and Gone issue number one. I'm not sure if it's a one-shot, if it's a miniseries or what, but in the back, they're already advertising uh, Key to Hell. So, we'll see. Very cool. There's that. So, that's it for this video, guys. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss out on some awesome prizes we have coming up. And uh, so I'll keep everybody. Here, you can use this. You can have this book. You don't want it? Want to lift that up? So yeah, that's a good show them. So yeah, just like that, you get a book in there, boom, you close it, it's done. Now, I would recommend, which BTC does, you just take a backer board, 
Can I have it? Just slap it on there as well. Can you're I have go. it? All right, you can have that. That's your Fortnite now. Uh, uh, <laughs> Fortnite! Woo! He has no clue what Fortnite is. That wasn't a bad read either, guys. Let's be honest. That Batman Fortnite. I have no idea about Fortnite, but it wasn't a bad read at all. Uh, before we go down that road, we'll save that for Sunday. Getting all the prizes together for the giveaway. That video will probably be dropping next Wednesday. That tends to be how I get the giveaway videos going is from Wednesday to Wednesday. Give everybody a chance to enter, show off the prizes, and it gives me a chance to not be too rushed. And because uh, time is very, very scarce right now. So, I again, as dude, I appreciate everybody who has supported the channel. I cannot thank you guys enough. I did not expect it to get this much support this early on. I immensely enjoy talking with all of you people in the comments, in the live chats, over on Instagram. So be sure to check out my Instagram as well as check out uh, the brand new Instagram page that I set up that's affiliated with mine. It's called LOC, like Legion of Comics, loc.pops, P-O-P-S, dot addict. And uh, that's my dad who's pumping uh, books onto their regularly in his free time now he's retired and sending out the pc and he's pricing it all to sell so there's gonna be all kinds of stuff on there just who knows what just there's gonna be thousands of books when it's all said there's gonna be a little bit of everything on there so be sure to check it out give it a follow and be on the watch out he started putting books up on it uh, yesterday i think the first day so uh yeah it's just gonna keep going non-stop so until next time guys as always thank you i'm mark but we are legion